Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, 2020 wild turkey season in the blind, as you can see. Uh, today I'm hunting over a pastor, and I'm making a quick video before the anticipated action starts. Um, got something new I want to show you all. Um, from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Uh, those of you all that's followed me for a while know that I like to hunt with a handgun. And today, what I want to show you is my newest addition to my handgun hunting collection. This is a Smith & Wesson Extreme Velocity Revolver. XVR. It is chambered in 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Those of you all that's familiar with this know it also shoots 454 Casul and 45 Long Coat. Uh, this one has a seven and a half inch barrel with a muzzle brake on the tip. Um, I had one many years ago that had a ten and a half inch barrel with the muzzle brake but this is a more compact version and I think I like it a little bit better with just with the reduced length here. When I had the ten and a half inch version I made a hundred and sixty five yard um, shot on a white tail deer using shooting sticks and it was like an instant drop. Um, handgun like this um, you can use it to hunt um, anything on this continent in the medium to big to dangerous game category um, people take these to Africa and uh, hunt the big five as well um, I'm gonna scope this one with an extended eye relief scope and set it up to uh, bear hunt with but I um, just want to show you this right before we get quiet and start this turkey hunt now in comparison I want to compare it to my mainstay which is my uh, 375 JD Jones contender As you can see, these um, handguns are um, similar finish and so forth, but where the contender has on the Smith & Wesson, the contender's barrel starts back here. So it's a 14 inch barrel versus the seven and a half inch barrel. But um, I'm looking to get some good results out of it. Uh, my contender has a 410 barrel as well. It's interchangeable. But we're back to the Smith & Wesson. I'm going to give you a good look at it. Fiber optic front sight. Uh, hold grips. And it is stamped that it's out of the performance center. Um, very well balanced. Um, nice single action pull smooth and look forward to doing some big game hunting with this those of you all that want to try this i suggest you start with something along the lines of about a 44 magnum or 357 and work your way up the recoil on these extreme velocity um Revolvers require some experience to manage because the recoil is vicious. But once you get used to it, I shoot these on a uh, rest, a sandbag rest, or with shooting sticks, and it's very manageable. But that's all I have for you, and check them out. Going back to the turkey. Now. 